Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. My self is Suresh, working as a software testing trainer. So in the previous videos, we got understand about what is mean by testing and what is mean by selenium, what are the components of selenium. In the current video, we will understand about while working with selenium, what are all the third party tools we can integrate it. Let us get started. So, if I am taking with selenium, we got an advantage of selenium, components of the selenium or while working with the selenium web driver, we got an a possibility to integrate other third party tools. In that, in that, the very first tool we need to be get integrate mentioning that test ng or mentioning about J unit. For the current market, almost we can say that J unit has been outdated, need to be get work with the test ng here. But again, selenium is totally different, test ng is totally different, no way of connectivity. Selenium is totally different tool and test ng is totally different tool. While working with the selenium or while work with the selenium web driver, while work with Selenium ID, Selenium RC, Selenium Web Driver, Selenium Grid. Once your execution completed, we cannot generate any of the reports. Assume that you started executing hundreds automation script, hundred automation script got executed, but you are not able to say any report in understanding that how many test cases passed and how many test cases fail, then there is no use of that taking with the execution. Whenever you done with the execution, we have to be understand that how many test cases passed, how many test cases fail, that kind of reporting need to be generated. So by default, by default, that kind of reporting not available in Selenium here or we can say that Selenium web driver. For that particular purpose, we are taking with the help of test ng. Selenium is totally different, test ng is totally different. As Selenium is not able to generate any of the reports, we are taking with the help of test ng and then we can get generate with HTML reports. By looking HTML reports, we can understand that how many test cases passed and how many test cases failed. Further, we got an a possibility working with the combination of Selenium web driver with test engine. Then we are able to develop automation script and able to get generate with test results also. That is one tool. Another one, we got an a possibility, we can work with auto IT or mentioning about taking with SQL. Again, Selenium is totally different tool, auto IT is totally different tool, SQL is totally different tool. Each and every tool is different. Every tool, it is have its own advantages, it is have its own drawbacks here. If I am taking with the Selenium, we are saying that having the advantages of open source tool, supports for multiple browsers, supports for multiple languages and supports for multiple operating system. At the same time, we got an a drawback while working with Selenium tool here. The major drawback, the major drawback of Selenium is Selenium will be supporting only web based applications. Selenium will be supporting only web based applications. With the help of Selenium, we cannot automate anything related to Windows here. Okay. Let us take best example of Naukari application. Now, query portal. Whenever we are registering our profile in the now query, we need to be provide all our details. In the last, we need to be get upload in a profile, nothing but upload in a resume. 
to upload in a resume in the naukari portal you will need to be click on browse button or you will click on upload button once you click on browse button once you click on upload button you are able to see that one window will get displayed that particular screen consider as a window based here that means naukari application is web based only you are working web based application only while working web based application there is a chance of need to be get some scenarios related to the windows to handle those scenarios we can take with the help of auto it or we can take with the help of sikuli here not required both the tools not required both the tools either you can work with selenium web driver with auto it or selenium web driver with sikuli that will depends on project requirement either you can work with auto it or you can work with sikuli here the whole objective is while work with selenium we got an a drawback of selenium will not be supporting windows based applications so while working with web applications in a web application if we got any scenarios related to the windows to handle those scenarios we are taking with the help of auto it or taking with the help of sikuli so that we have to be discuss on it and after this we need to be get understand about automation frameworks here okay while doing automation course while doing automation training the very most important part is frameworks here while attending the interviews or while working in the real time perspective automation frameworks is one of the most important concept need to be get understand as part of our training as part of our training we need to be get understand about how we can get design modular framework and then you will get understand about how we can work with test ng framework and then you will get understand about how we can get work with hybrid framework and then taking with pom here okay so as part of our training need to be get discussed about designing test ng framework hybrid framework and pom here and these frameworks also it's not like just doing copy and paste most of the time will be taking with the copying the code from google and then executing it it's not like that we guys need to be design the framework from the scratch level from the scratch where need to be started where need to be get stop it that will be understanding in a very detailed here once the frameworks part is completed most of the things it will be done but again for these particular frameworks while working this frameworks will get understand about working with some other tools in that one you will be taking with maven and then mentioning about taking with cucumber okay so we need to be get understand about maven and then taking with cucumber and then mentioning about working with jenkins okay and then working with log4j okay so as part of selenium need to be get understand about integrating with these particular things and at the same time we need to be get understand about working with github also at last will be understanding a basic information related to web services testing nothing but mentioning about taking with api testing okay it's not like in detail we are doing total course here as part of selenium how there is a possibility of web services testing or just need to be understand what is mean by api testing that we have to be get discuss on it so now if i'm taking this these are all the possibilities having to get integrate while working with selenium we can work with 
Selenium web driver with test engine, Selenium web driver with auto IT or SQL, Selenium web driver with the frameworks and Selenium web driver with another tools here. So if we take our training, we need to be get started from very basic level and then it will be closing with advanced level here. And while working with the Selenium, we require a basic programming knowledge. That programming also, we require core Java knowledge. But again, it's not like that you guys need to be complete core Java course and after that you have to be learned with the Selenium. No concept of on that. As part of the Selenium course or as part of the Selenium training, for Selenium, what are all the Java knowledge has been required that will be training it and after that only you will be getting started with actual part of the Selenium. That means if we take our training, first we will take a basic information about automation. What is mean by automation? How real time automation process need to be done? Then we will be discussing about core Java syntax. Once core Java syntax completed, then we will start writing the basic programs in web driver and advanced programs in web driver. Once you get comfortable with web driver, then you will be taking web driver with a test engine, web driver with auto IT and web driver with frameworks here. So once the whole frameworks part is getting completed, you will get understand about designing test engine framework, hybrid framework and POIM framework. So this is what we are going to learn as part of the testing course. The whole objective is if you want to be get start in a career as a tester, if you want to be get survive on the testing job, you guys need to be comfortable in getting working with manual testing and then need to be take with automation testing. As part of our training, first we will understand about manual testing with one project and after that we will get started with automation testing and we will get understand about automation with one project. By the completion of whole training, you guys need to be very comfortable in getting working with manual testing and then getting working with automation testing. So this is an just overview of what are the things we need to be learned as part of the testing course and as part of the Selenium here. Okay. In the next video, we will get discussed about how we need to be get start programming with Selenium here. Okay. Thank you.